Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to see a live exploitation of click jacking vulnerability. All right, so we already know about click jacking attacks and how an attacker can utilize this to make this low level vulnerability a high level vulnerability. So let's quickly jump into this video and see how can we actually simulate a click jacking based vulnerability and show its exploitation and severity to the target program. So for this, as you can see over here, my target is only dot in. So I'm going to use this website to demonstrate the attack. So first of all, I'm going to create an account onto this web application. As you can see, I have successfully signed up and now I'm going to do my verification. Once the verification is done, I will have a valid account onto this website. So let's just wait and let me complete the verification part and we can move ahead. Now you can take any web application that you want to prove click jacking based vulnerabilities if the page is successfully loading into your iframe. So I have identified this website to be vulnerable to click jacking because they do not have proper mitigations for click jacking based vulnerabilities. Therefore, there are no X frame options. So once I have identified this target, I am creating an account over here. As you can see, I have successfully created an account and I am now logged in into my account as well. I'm just updating my last name details to show you guys that I have successfully logged in and I have the rights to update the details of my account. All right, as you can see, I have created my account as well and I can update my details as well, which proves that I am logged in into my account. Now we require the clickjack tool that we have created to do the clickjacking exploitation. Now guys, one thing to remember over here is I'm going to prove this vulnerability onto my local host website. Okay. So what you can, guys can do is you can also create the same POC onto your local host website. You can create it into your computer or else you can host your POC or your website onto any online free service like triple zero webhost.com in case you do not have your own personal website or you can host it onto your personal website as well. The steps would be exactly the same. So let me just go into that folder. So I'm into the folder right now and the folder name is click Jack tool and you can see these are the files which are inside that folder. Our important file is the index.html. So I'm going to start a quick PHP server using the command PHP hyphen S localhost colon 8001. So it is the port number on which I have started my local PHP server. Perfect. Now let's verify our PHP server has started and you can see successfully my PHP server has started. So let's copy our target URL link and paste it over into the URL and hit load. As you can see, my target has successfully loaded into our local host server that we have created. And you can see this is exactly the same target which has successfully loaded and I am even logged in into my account. So let's quickly first log out of our, of our account. So I have logged out of my account. Let me again load it. As you can see, yeah, perfect. Now you can see I am presented with the username password field. So let me get back to the username password field. And it was only dot in slash log out. So I should be able to get the login onto the login endpoint. All right. So I have the login endpoint right now. So we are going to craft a POC wherein we are going to first drag the email, which is the first field, which is the email address field and keep it over here. So I'll just place it here. You don't need to be perfect in placing it. You can place it as where as you want just a little bit onto the username and password field. And let's place the login button over the login field or else let's do one thing. Let's paste it in the center instead of placing it onto the left. So if you have any issues in dragging this, remember you just have to 
hold the button and drag it you just don't have to click it and move your mouse mouse pointer you have to actually hold it and drag it then it will work all right so i have dragged it over here now i will hit view button now let's see what happens when we hit the view button all right so you can see it looks perfectly fine and uh, our buttons have successfully overlapped the email address field, the password field and the sign in button, which looks perfect for us. Now you can notice over here, we are on to our local host. This is our local host URL. And as I mentioned before the starting of the video, you can host this application, which we hosted into our local PHP server onto a live web server or a live website as well. If in case you do not have any of the websites, you can host it on triple zero webhostapp.com. It provides you free hosting and you can host this POC there and you can prove the flaw as well. The steps are exactly the same. All right, so now we have successfully loaded it over here. So let's assume the victim comes over our this target and he thinks like he have to log in into the only website because it is successfully getting loaded into our iframe so he gives his username and password clicks on i'm not a robot so bypasses so let's bypass this by giving the correct captcha and hit on sign in and you can see perfect captured credentials are username is hacker.udme at the rate gmail.com password is admin at the rate one two three so this way, the attacker is able to successfully get hold of the credentials in which he has got the username and password. For the demonstration over here, we have put or allowed the credentials to be into the alert box. In real case scenario, this will be automatically sent it to the attacker's web server, which we have already seen into the previous video. And we have seen how the credentials are sent to the attacker's server. So I hope you guys understood how you can make and demonstrate this attack to prove the severity and how you can perform the exploitation. Thank you.